Hey guys, so I thought I would just, I literally just woke up. I'm so puffy. Anyway, I basically am going to film a, like a little bit of a get ready with me. Um, I'm not really going to talk too much, but I'm going to do a really glam makeup look today. So I just want to show you how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to straighten my hair. So I'm going to show you how I do that too. So yeah, carry on watching. So firstly, I'm just gonna straighten my hair. So I will just brush it through, section it, and I will just begin straightening it. I will go over it a few times. So it does take me a few minutes to straighten it, just to ensure that it's fully straightened. After I've done that, I will just pin it back and then I will begin doing my makeup. So I just start by brushing through my brows and applying the Primark Brow Wiz in the shade Tan. And then I will carve my eyebrows out using the Collection 2000 in Warm Light and a flat brush. I then take the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and just blend that through. Using the shade Brick by MAC, I will go in with a crease and just go over that a few times just to define it. And then I will carve it out using the same concealer. I then will go over that with a black eyeshadow, this is Carbon by MAC and I will just press this on using a flat brush over a few times just to make sure the colour payoff is there and I will, once I'm happy with it, I will go over and make sure it's super black. Then going in with the brush that I used before and just transitioning the shades together making sure it's very very seamless I then will wipe away the excess and make sure there's no residue left over and I'm just taking the black brush again and I'm just angling it because I wanted a bit more of a cat eye effect so just going in with that brush I'm just angling it to make it look quite transitioned I'm then going in with a Rimmel London brow gel and I'm just going to set my brows. I'm then going in with the Primark face glue. This is really sturdy and it just keeps the glitter in place. And I'm just taking the MAC black glitter and I'm just pressing this onto my eyelid. I had to go over a few times. But I'm just pressing it in before the glue dries and I'm just going over it a few times. Once I'm happy, I'm just going to go in with some moisturiser and I'm just going to prep my skin. I just fully go in and make sure my skin is all prepped, ready for foundation. I'm taking the Fenty Pro Filter in the shade 300 and I'm just buffing it in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. Once I'm happy, I'm going to take the Collection 2000 in Warm Light Concealer and I'm just popping that under my eyes down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin and, and I'm just going to blend this out using a MAC buffing brush. This is perfect for under eye concealer and I really love it. Um, so I will just make sure that's all blended through and I'm, once I'm happy with it I will take some mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensationals just to coat my lashes before applying some eyelashes. These are the Poundland ones, I've been trying these out, they're super cheap and they're so good for price. I'm then taking the Makeup Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Banana and I'm just baking my under eye. Um, I really love this, I think it's really good for how cheap it is and I'm using this in the shade Banana. Once I have sort of pressed that into my skin and gone over a few times just to make sure it's really sort of set it in, I will next go in with, will next just start going into my under lash line. I will work through my waterline and just take the leftover black shadow and just to make sure everything is seamlessly joined together. I will do this a few times as I do like it to be quite intense. So I will just work on that. Next, I will just take the same mascara and I will just join my natural lashes to my false lashes and make sure everything is super black. 
Next, taking a Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just wiping away the remaining bake that I put under my eyes earlier. And with the same brush, I'm just going to take the NARS bronzing powder in the shade Casino and I'm just going to work that into my contour cheekbones, onto my forehead, down my nose and I'm going to work it along my jaw. Um, I just really love this for a very matte contoured shade. I think it's really good and it works perfect with this look. So just sprayed my face with Fix Plus and applied some highlight. I'm now just taking a clear gloss and I'm just applying that onto my lips. And afterwards I'm taking the Rimmel London Lip Liner in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm just going over my lip line ever so lightly just to emphasise it. I didn't want to overtake it because I've got such a dramatic eye. But I just wanted to intensify it okay, ever so guys, slightly. That is me ready. I'm just going to go over my hair literally one more time. Um, because my hair literally will just try and go curly at any given moment. Um, but yeah, that is basically what I look like to go to work today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, but yeah, so just done a super black smoky eye. I'm all about this eye. This is one of my favourite eyes to do. But I've added the MAC pigment, um, the MAC glitter, I just think, I just think it is. Yeah. I'm actually working two jobs today so I might take it off later on and do a different makeup look but I thought I'd just do super glam this morning just in case I don't have time later on to redo my makeup and then like you know it should stay on all day but yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then give it a thumbs up and maybe you want to see more makeup looks like this next